Good morning, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. Thank you, my dear friends, my precious people in the Lord. Um, I'm so very thankful for all of you. I'm touched each and every day by your letters and your comments. And I do encourage you that post box I opened up. I knew it was the Holy Spirit and I'm establishing friendships and you folks have a uh, freedom to write, you know, what God is showing you, uh, what you've been journaling, just to share whatever God lays, the Holy Spirit lays on your heart. That post box is there for you. And I wanted to thank you. Some of you have uh, given me donations here this month in the super thanks. And that's in the comments section. Bless your hearts. Thank you very much. And then those that have sent the donations, you know, I'm going to hold up that cone of coffee again. MIT. And if you like, uh, if you're giving on this channel and you prefer the tea over the coffee, you know, I'll kind of even it out and do that. So you let me know, you know, what, what is your favorite? I'll be very happy to bless you back with whatever you prefer. Amen. So today I sat down to do my writing, my devotion. Today is actually Friday the 23rd. And the Lord just birthed, um, you know, it's not a teaching, maybe just uh, is pointing me to share uh, what's on my heart today. And some of, some of, I have spoken about some of this in the past, so some of it you've heard before, but I want to title this video, No, You're Not Crazy. Because uh, a few of you have said to me in the comments, and I have a friend, you know, he, he just says, I feel crazy. Well, move over, kids, because uh, I've been in this boat for uh, over, uh, over 40 years now. <laughs> I've been crazy a lot longer. I've been crazy of the Lord. So I wanted to just take some time to encourage you, to remind you of uh, the day that we're living in and why we feel as we do and why the persecution is increasing, why the attacks are increasing, uh, why we will see the speed of things increasing. This is some of the things that the Lord is showing me. And you folks are so wise in the Lord, even the younger Christians, you folks are so wise. You know it. You know it. You, you feel what I feel. So I know I'm speaking to the choir, but sometimes, you know, crazy just sits, needs to sit with crazy. <laughs> So I want to encourage you today. No, you are not crazy. Amen. So um, I wanted to talk to you uh, again. I was uh, born again in 1981. And almost immediately before I even knew what these gifts were, before I even knew that I was a watchman, I was getting these words of knowledge. I had no idea what God was. One day I lifted my hands to heaven and I said, God, give me everything. And he did. And then I began the process of being removed from a number of churches, amen. All the churches, we moved a lot, in, like many of you probably have in your adult life. I've traveled a lot. I've moved a lot, lived in different locations. And uh, there's been a lot of preachers that uh, have not appreciated the gifts within me. I would say probably this many churches in all my years have received what the Lord, and I've never been out of order. Once I was taught, I would never be out of order. I would not speak rather than speak when I knew, you know, that uh, it would be out of order. Amen. I've always been um, yielded in that area. So it's very interesting. I wanted to come and just share from my heart today. We are in the latest of days. I have never seen these days. And like I shared the other day, someone said to me, oh, you've been talking like this for over 20 years. Well, no, probably for 40 years. And But the difference now, and I've spoken this before on other videos, is that we see now the convergence of everything coming together. We know now we are in the last days since really World War II. We know that the Jews got back in the land by 
President Harry Truman. He had a believing mother, amen, and the word stuck with him, and he went against uh, many people in 1948, and Israel was established as a nation. So this two, I have to be careful here, this two-state that's going on right now. Um, this is God's land and this is God's people's land. Amen. There will never, that will never come. That will never happen because uh, God is in control of this and this is God's land and these are God's people. So that's what I'll say on that. And I know that most of you agree, but there is a faction in the church uh, probably an overwhelming faction uh, in the last day's church that would differ with that. And that's what's so sad about this. There's a faction, a major faction in the church that believes they're going to turn, the church is going to turn the time. And in the last days is not about God's chosen people. And that is false teaching. We know it because we know the Bible. Amen. The last days, the tribulation is all about the Jewish people. Yes, the saints will come after we're gone, after we leave, those saints will be, will be saved. They will realize, oh my gosh, that rapture was true and there will be that revival and they will be saved. Most will perish. Amen. It's not about the church. It's about the chosen people. Okay, what we're going through, what we're approaching is all about God's chosen people, his lineage. Amen. So that's what I will speak that, encourage you. I'm going to read a couple of scriptures here now. Uh, we're being set up uh, for the Ezekiel War. Now, what's holding back is that they will, Jew, the Jews will be living in peace and safety. So we're not that, not there yet, Amen. But perhaps what's happening now, there will become a point. There will be, they will have a temporary peace, and they will be living in peace and safety once they house clean over there you understand so that's how close we are to the ezekiel so if you're not familiar that's ezekiel 37 through 39 we must be in the word i believe right now the word the word is more important perhaps than any other time in my christian walk to cling to the word of god amen that's all I do, church, because it's all coming together, the convergence, right? So once again, you are not crazy. I'm just going to read to you here a little bit from uh, Amos, and then I'm going to uh, go over to Matthew 24. So this is Amos chapter 8, uh, read 11 to 14. Behold, days are coming, declared the Lord, when I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread or a thirst for water, but for the hearing of the words of the Lord. This is why this platform doesn't really grow very fast, right? There's not a hunger. There's a turning away from God within the church, within the walls. There's not a hunger. There's only, I want to be comfortable. I want to be comfortable. I want to come here and I want to be comfort. And they don't want to hear what's going on. Basically, they're very, there's very little difference than the world. They all have their head buried in the sand. The blinders are on, and Scripture talks about that. So, but rather for a hearing of the word of the Lord, and the people will stagger from sea to sea, and from north even to the east, and they will go to and fro and seek the word of the Lord, but they will not find it. So, see, they are seeking but they will not find it. The blinders are on, their head is in the sand. They only want comfort. Amen. And that's why the last church is the remnant. The church has been lukewarm at very best. Amen. And you know this, you write me all the time, you're searching for a church. I get it. I get it. There's just no depth. They just want comfort. They don't want to know what's going on in the last remaining pages. They're not very different from the world. Now, God knows their heart. I cannot judge another man. That's up to God. Amen. Maybe best scenarios to say they are totally on the milk. 
Okay. They are babes. They are on, and I've known people for 30 years that have been saved that are still on the milk. They don't go deep. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's giving up here and seeking and wanting and being yielded and obedient. Amen. And to praying to be filled to overflowing with the wisdom and discernment from above. It's time consuming. It's letting go of the things of this world. Amen. Verse 13. And in that uh, and in that day, beautiful virgins and the young men will faint from thirst. As for those who swear by the guilt of Samaria and who say, as God lives, O Dan, as the way of Bathsheba lives, they will fall and not rise again. So again, God is the judge, amen. I, I know no man's heart. It's not for me. It's for the Lord, amen. And then let me just finish here with um, Matthew. I'm just kind of reading off my notes here. I wasn't planning on doing this today, but uh, Matthew 24, 35. Let's see here. Uh, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But in that day and hour, no man, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, nor the son, but the father alone for the coming of the son of man will be in those like those days in Noah. And this is the days that we're living in, like the days of Noah. I'll speak on that in a second. For in those days, which were before the flood, they were eating and drinking. They were marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark. And they did not understand until the flood came. Can you understand? And they did not understand until the flood came and took them all away. So shall be the coming of the man be. Wow. And there shall be two men in one field and one taken and one left. Two women will be grinding the mill and one will be taken and one left. So they will not, they do not know and we can see it. And unfortunately, we can see it in the churches. Amen. Never mind those that have already gone W-O-K-E, right? Okay, but I'm talking about the ones that are just there for the comfort. I want peace. I want comfort. I'm going to take my Bible once a week and put it back on the nightstand for the rest of the week. I want to feel good. I want, I want. That's not Christ. Amen. We have an I want generation. Amen. So I'm just going to read off of some of my notes here. Um, you know, I've been careful about speaking of, um, politics and times, but we realize now I was listening to somebody the other day, a tech person, and already everything's in place. Everything's in place. It's not uh, clicked in yet for the digital, for the control. So we are moving closer to the coming of the Antichrist. Everything's ready so that they can click and we will be totally controlled with our money, with everywhere we go, with what we're able to do. Amen. It's already in place. And things are with this AI are moving so quickly. But from what I understand from this man that has worked all of his life in that uh, segment, it's already there, church. It's already there. China has implemented it. India has implemented it. Um, it's going into place uh, in other countries. I have to be careful. I don't even think you're supposed to say uh, C-H-I-N-E yet on this platform. Amen. So that's coming. All right. So uh, uh, let me read off my notes here. Also, within our land, I wish I had better news for you. I wish I had better news, but I think for most of you, no, you're not crazy. We see that this country is under judgment, and this isn't anything new. These leaders have been uh, running the country for many decades now, and the man in front, whom we call the president, is only one of their pawns. This has been going on for decades. Amen. There is so much... Uh, corruption and deception that everybody that's been up there for a long time has something on them. Amen. You have to follow me on this because I have to be careful. Amen. And that's why there's no difference. They all go along with the program. This is why nothing's happening on our borders. Amen. 
a lot of mouthpieces up there. And I'm not saying everyone, there are some still trying to fight the good fight. But for the most part, they're all one of the same. And that's all I'll say. You may differ on that. That's my opinion. Um, but I've done a lot of reading, a lot of studying on that. That's what I feel. And that has to come. The judgment upon this land has to come. And it is happening. You don't dispose of these precious little babies in the womb for so many generations and not finally come unto judgment. You understand? So um, that's what I'll say right now. Pretty much everybody in the walls of power have something on them and what they why they've fallen and why they go around with the uh, program is because they've all become millionaires. You know, the Lord, I looked up psychopath. We have the psychopaths leading all over, all over the world, the psychopath. Let me read you the direction of a psychopath. Personality marked by a, a lack of remorse for one's actions and absence of empathy for others. You read that again. A person having an egocentric and antisocial personality marked by a lack of of remorse of one's actions and an absence of empathy for other and often criminal tendencies. Does that not describe pretty much most of the leaders that you see around the world, but particularly right now within America, you can see them in, you can see them in the halls of Congress. Amen. They go in making, I don't know what are they making, under $200,000 a year, and they come out with $30 million in the bank. You see what's happening. They all join up. It all, you all come together, and now the Lord is just about had enough. Amen? So expect to see things happening quicker. That's what the Lord's been showing me in my own private time. I'm up earlier. I'm praying more. I know many of you are not sleeping, and I know how you work so hard, amen, and you need your rest. But, um, you know, I believe with all of my heart, many of us will be getting less and less sleep, and we will be touching God in the early night hours. God is on a move in his people. God is going to fill his remnant. No, you're not crazy. You are seeing more dreams and visions. You are getting, that's why I'm saying everything means something. Get your journals, journal. Amen. This is how I've been saying. This is why I've been saying, don't be fooled about the stock market going over 39,000. Don't be fooled. Amen. Um, be careful. Be careful, church. Be careful. Because God is now allowing the judgment to fall upon nation after nation in the West. We see it. We know it. Be careful. Don't be fooled. Remember, something in spring's coming. I believe it. I believe it soon. Okay, everybody lost cell phone power uh, over many states. Uh, what was that all about? Was that a test? We're just, you know, I'm just saying, okay, there's things happening that we're going to see more and more of. That's why I've started this mail-in ministry. If you haven't sent your address to me and you want to participate after this goes dark and comes back up and the church is no longer on it, this is coming. I know it with all of my heart. And that's just why I got the post box, spent the money for that post box so that we have a male ministry that can continue. You know, we can only do what we can see for now. Amen. And right now I see the persecution beginning. They can't wait to get us out of here. I'm talking the church, okay, off this platform. They can't wait to remove us because they hate God. They are their own gods, and they believe that they will continue to be their own gods. They are totally blinded, and this is all biblical. We know it. So if you haven't sent your address to me, you, I've gotten a lot of stamps, but we can always use more stamps. I have so many envelopes. Thank you, sweetie. Um, so 
I'm just pressing you because I know this is coming most probably sooner than later. Amen. Um, I can see it on this channel. I can see where they're holding me back. So please put your thumbs up. If you haven't uh, shared this, please do. If you've got another believer that could relate to this, another remnant believer, amen. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, okay? All of this is going to help us move more quickly through this platform while we were able. So I wanted to say, no, you're not crazy. You are you are getting these dreams and visions from God. They bear witness with my spirit. That post box is there for you. You write to me. You continue to journal. You continue to protect your family in the natural as much as you can with some cash and some food and water, church, okay? There are things coming. It's going to speed up. No, you're not crazy. You are in the word. You know what God has spoken in every pages about these last days. You're right on track and you probably will get less sleep because God is waking you up with his voice growing in your life, with his wisdom, with his discernment, because you're not crazy. Amen. So I want you to be encouraged. These are hard things, but the persecution is going to increase. Uh, what's happening on the streets right now with all the green flags is coming against us. They hate us here in high places. They are, our country has turned away. Amen. And God is judging us. And there's two different kinds of judgment. I was listening to a preacher this morning, and this was so good. Um, we're going to see weather changes. We're going to see speed. We're going to see things change in our skies. And some of it is God, and some of it is the enemy. And it was very interesting. The study said that, uh, you know, um, God sent the flood. That was judgment from God. And so we know that God is allowing judgments to come upon, upon these ungodly nations. And it rains on the righteous as well as the unrighteous. That's scriptural. We are here until we're here, until he takes us out in the rapture. We are going to see more persecution. We are going to see, I believe, the church doors closing because the finances will be squeezed so much because of the evil ones in charge. Just as the restrictions are happening more and more here, even our words are restricted now, more so than they were just five years ago. So that bears witness with the speed of things increasing, okay? That's biblical, amen? So uh, expect God to move in new ways. You are not crazy. You will see dreams and visions. God will speak through your mouth, so you journal. Everything means something. I keep saying that you just... Put all those puzzles pieces together in your own life. God is on a move in his people. Why? Because he knows the pressure's increasing, the persecution's increasing, the oppression coming against the church is increasing. The longer we're here, the harder it will get because our days are being numbered and shortened. And we're here for as long as we're here. No man knows the day or time. We can't say this festival day. We can't say this. This is this number, this number. No man knows the day or the time. Amen. So that's what I want to share here. We can sit and we can complain about the attacks. I've had a couple hard weeks, church. You know, the enemy hates this word getting out. There are no churches. These little over 2,000 people know that they can come here and get to have the freedom in Christ and say, Jackie, am I crazy? No, you're not crazy. God is on a move in his people in new and deeper ways that we might be fortified, that we might stand on the wall. We might decipher the lies that are coming at us and the deception, deception church like I've never seen. I've lived a long time. I've walked with the Lord a long time. Take my word for it. I'm like you. I have never lived in days like this. And God is preparing us. God is opening up his word to us. God is moving through us in more gifts than that same thing. The enemy knows it, and we are going to be oppressed. We can either sit there and roll over and complain, or we can take the tools. The Holy Spirit lives within us and go to war and not receive it and push through. 
when I get attacked, I just come and do another video. I push through because I know that it's the enemy. And I share this just to encourage you. Amen. So be ready for bizarre weather. Some of it from the God Almighty, as with the flood, the judgment from God. When Jesus was in the ship and the seas were rough and the disciples were frightened, he got up and calmed the sea. That was satanic. He took authority. So we have two kinds of weather patterns that will be coming at us. Amen. So take that to prayer. If a storm's coming your way, pray about it you know, have it break up, do your warfare. If you are hit, being hit time and time again by the enemy, do what you know to do. You have the power and anointing of Almighty God. If God wakes you up at night and you're not sleeping, go to God. Spend some time with God. He will give you the rest that your physical body needs. Amen. Expect everything to speed up, church. We are in the last days. We are here for such a short time. No man knows the day or time, but we are here to be a light in a dark place. And as we walk in the spirit, it's not what words we sometimes say. It's the spirit of God living within us that has the impression on others. They see that peace. They see a smile when the Lord is speaking to us. Amen. We are here for a short time. Have your eyes open. Expect bizarre uh, weather. Expect great attacks. Expect not to sleep so much, but expect that God is going to fill you more and more with his anointing and his peace and his comfort. These are his ways, dear ones. These are his ways. So Lord, I lift up each one today listening, God. No, we're not crazy. No, God, we know that we serve a mighty God. We know that we are filled with your Holy Ghost. We know that we are in the last days. We know that we are the rapture church and we will serve you and we will be filled with your fire and we will be obedient to the best of our ability. And if we fall and we sin, Lord God, we will be quick to repent, Lord God. We know, Lord God, that these are important days and we know we are a chosen generation. In Jesus' name, the blood covering be upon each one today, God. Every dart and assignment from the enemy is foiled in the very name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are your anointed. We are not crazy. We are your anointed people in Jesus' name. God bless you. Leave your comments. God bless.